Hi, I'm Klaus Hermann, founder and editor of Farbspielfoto.com, where we make your photography simple. This tutorial video is an excerpt of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop. If you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you have the unique chance of snatching both courses as a free bonus. Just stick around till the end of the video where I will tell you how. And now, have fun with the tutorial. What I want, what I want to show you is that you can uh, increase the details in your image uh, also selectively for a specific region. And the way I'm doing this is by, first of all, creating a copy of that base layer. And I'm rasterizing that just to um, to save some memory actually, because smart object can consume a lot of memory. And I'm dragging that right into this tower group here. And now I am um, applying a filter to that. And I'm applying, I'm going to filter, other, and high pass. And that gives me this, um, first of all, that strange looking image here, but you don't have to worry, it's going to get a lot better in a second. Uh, but it's giving me uh, this box for the radius of the high pass um, tool. And what the high pass tool does is it uh, looks only at the edges at the high frequency details in your image and puts those on a gray layer. Okay, so only the high uh, frequency stuff in your image, which are the, all those bricks and, um, and the, the, the details, gets extracted, so to speak. Okay, but that's only the first step of what we're doing. So don't, don't uh, be scared by that look. That's going to go away in a second. So I am picking a radius of around nine. Works best for this type of application of the high pass filter. And I click OK. And um, when I put this layer into overlay mode, you can see that the original look comes back. And if I disable that, you can see that we have a lot more detail in that tower now. OK, if I, that's, the, that's the before, that's the after. You can see how much detail this brings into the tower. Now, the high pass uh, filter has a common problem of all those detail extraction uh, and sharpening methods, also like the unsharp mask, for example. It tends to create halos around the edges, the more extreme you, you go. And what's bothering me personally about this are those white halos that you see in the image. It, it gives your image kind of an unnatural look. So if I go to the upper part of that tower here, for example, and I enable that, you see those the white halo that it creates around this edge, for example. And that's something that I want to, um, to remove from that uh, details um, layer that we have here. So let me call this tower details. And the way I'm going to do this is by creating another layer. I'm going. I'm coming down here to this uh, menu here and choose solid color. And I'm going to make this a 50% gray uh, color. So I'm choosing going all the way to the left to get rid of the saturation and go to the 50% region where the B value in the, in the HSB section here says 50%. And the, and the red, green, and blue values should say 128. That's a 50% uh, gray layer. And that's important because we're going to work with overlay uh, with the overlay mode, uh, which essentially lets everything through in those in this 50% gray area. Okay, I'm going to click OK, and that adds an additional layer. Now it looks strange because the tower turned all um, gray now, but that's going to change in a second because I am going to uh, activate that layer and set the, uh, the blend mode to darken. And what that's going to do is, if I disable this gray layer, you can see that all those white, those, those uh, brighter uh, regions are gone, okay? Because I have told Photoshop to remove them by adding a gray layer in darken mode. So everything that's brighter as than 
50% gray in the underlying layer, which is our, our high pass layer, um, gets darkened and gets actually pushed up to 50% gray, gray. That's the effect here. Now I have to merge these two layers, uh, merge layers. Okay, when, I, uh, when you look at that, now the effect is on that single layer. So we only have the darkening effect of the high pass filter. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to image adjustment and desaturate because I don't want to have those funky color effects here. And then finally, I'm turning the blend mode to overlay. And now you can see that those details are enhanced without those, those bright halos around the edges. And that's what I was trying to achieve. It, it gives you a much more natural look um, when you try to enhance the details. Okay, so let me summarize. We've used the high pass filter layer in overlay mode and we've, we've actually darkened all the parts of that layer that have, have been brightened by the high pass filter, okay? And that gives you only the dark parts only those parts where the details are and it nicely increases those details. Now to strengthen that effect even more you can simply copy that layer by hitting command or control J on your keyboard and you can see that that adds another level of details and if that's too strong you can go to any of those layers and tune down the opacity to make it a bit less uh, prominent. But I think one layer here is enough. I'm going to zoom out again. Look at the image. That's the before. That's the after. So quite a subtle uh, adjustment and improvement of the details only of that tower in our image. If you're watching this prior to September 15th, 2015, you're lucky. Because you can snatch your free copy of my personal workflow courses for Lightroom and Photoshop. And here's how it works. Simply head over to the link below where the 5 day deal team organizes the biggest bundle sale in the history of photography. It's running between September 10th and 15th 2015 and this is your unique chance to get a huge bundle of high class photography education and tools from the world's best photographers at an insane discount. No matter which type of photography you're into, this is the best investment you can make in your own photography. And in addition to that, you can even win over $50,000 worth in prices. If you purchase the bundle through this link, I will send you the download links to my full personal workflow courses within 24 hours. But please do make sure that you use this link to start your checkout process for the bundle. Otherwise I will not have your details and I cannot send you anything. So I hope I'll see you for the 5 day deal event. Take care and have fun.